I've been staying in this house all by myself since Thomas has been gone and the kids are living their own lives. I've been telling you for quite a few years now that you could, you could live here with me. You could go to church with me on Sundays and, and you could work out some of those demons. The door was unlocked, so I let myself in. I didn't think I was intruding on anybody. Next thing I know, I don't run right into him and his little wife doing some kind of nasty game. Mm-hmm. I couldn't bend like that when I was in high school. And you know I tried some of everything. <laughs> I went to her house. I looked in her window and I saw the two of you. This keeps happening and every time you say it didn't mean nothing. This is my house and I bought it long before I met you. And I could pay the bills just fine. When I get back from Tennessee, I want you gone. And who's going to be my mama, huh? Who? I was just going to college when I got saddled with you. Your sorry ass. And you were always asking for something. I'm the one who had to feed you, clothe you, put a roof over your head, and you weren't cheap either. Did you forget to mention that in your little rant? Huh? So while you painting this story of me being the villain, you are the villain in my story. She was my mother too. She was my mother first. <laughs>